with question number one. Question one reads as follows. The polynomial p of x is such that p of x is equal to ax cubed minus 3x squared plus bx plus 6. Given that x plus 2 is a factor of p of x, and that when p of x is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is negative 6. A. Find the values of the constants a and b. B. Hence, solve the equation p of x equal to 0. Sub 2. Two statements p and q are, such, are given by p. Con comfort studies hard and Q, she will pass the examination. Write out the following propositions in simple English. C, P implies Q. D, not P implies not Q. E, not of P implies Q. Okay, let's get started with the first part of this question. We are given the polynomial P of X and we are told that P of X is equal to AX cube. P of X is equal to AX cube minus 3X squared plus BX plus 6. We are also told that X plus 2 is a factor of P of X. So X plus 2 is a factor of p of x. What that means is that when we take x plus 2 equal to 0, it means x equal to negative 2. So negative 2 is a root of p of x. Now, <coughs> we are also, t what that means is also that P of negative 2 will be 0. That's the meaning of a root of P of x. Now, we are also told that when we divide P of x by x minus 1, the remainder is negative 6. So, it means that x minus 1 equal to 0 implies x equal to 1. So, P of 1 is negative 6. That's the remainder. So, that's the interpretation of our data. Now let's go to the first part A which says find the values of the constants A and B. So we are going to use the fact that P of negative 2 is 0 and P of 1 is 6, negative 6 to get the values of A and B. Start with P of negative 2 equals 0. It implies A times negative 2 cubed minus 3 times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus 6 equal to 0. When we simplify negative 2 cubed is negative 8 a negative 2 squared is 4 times negative 3 negative 12 minus 2b plus 6 equal to 0. So we obtain the equation negative 8a minus 12 minus 2b plus 6 is 0. We see that 2 negative 2 is common to all the terms so we can divide all through by negative 2 negative 8a over negative 2 will be 4a negative 2b over negative 2 will be plus b negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6 divided by negative 2 is going to give us 3 so when it causes the, in, the equal to sign it will be negative 3. That is equation 1. Next, we are going to take P of 1 equal to negative 6 to get the second equation that will help us to get the values of A and B. P of 1 equal to negative 6. What that means is A times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared plus B times 1 plus 6 equal to negative 6. A, 1 cube is the same as 1 times A is A1 squared is 1 times 3 negative 3 plus B plus 6 equal to negative 6. So we are saying A plus B 
equal to 6 minus 3 is 3. When 3 causes it becomes negative. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. That is equation 2. So we get two equations 4a plus b equal negative 3 and a plus b equal to negative 9 to solve simultaneously to get the values of the constants a and b. We are going to take equation 1 minus equation 2. We will have 4a minus a will be 3a. b minus b will be 0 equal to negative 3 minus negative 9 which is going to be 6 implying that a is equal to 6 over 3 which is 2 so that's the value of a we substitute a equal to 2 in equation 2 we are going to obtain 2 plus b equal to negative 9 which implies that b is negative 9 minus 2 negative 11 so that's the value of b so given the values of a and b found our polynomial p of x becomes 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus bx which is negative 11x plus 6 so those are the that's our polynomial